to tell you anything else would be a clue abhinav pune who is this legend from the usa don, don budge is yeah. correct don budge is the answer i was looking for usa was the only clue that abhinav needed well done abhinav knew that as well now hartley's there's a bit of pressure on you at this stage so let's see if you can uh, get it miscellaneous etc or snapshot miscellaneous okay we'll give you miscellaneous listen carefully to this question in which sport played on an oval surface with padded goal posts would you come across teams like the Carlton Blues, the Western Bulldogs and the Essendon Bombers? Lacrosse. Question passes on the buzzer PSBB. Australian, Australian rules football. It's correct. Oh, Australian rules football is the answer I was looking for. Oval surface, padded goalposts and teams like the Carlton Blues, the Western Bulldogs and the Essendon Bombers. And PSBB, you're enjoying yourself, aren't you? You've got a home 10-pointer to wrap this up. And you have to choose between etc. and snapshot. Just two options left. ETC. Okay, we'll give it to you. Okay, take a look at the photograph that we've got for you and identify this Surrey-born rugby star for England. Uh, Wilkinson. Uh, you know I'm going to give it to you anyway, don't you? Johnny Wilkinson. Johnny Wilkinson. It was the surname was good enough for me. Wilkinson of England and PSBB Nungumbakam. Just get better and better on this big day. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Slipping into third place, the Hartley's High School from Kolkata with two points. Didn't quite enjoy all this this time. It's so good, but today not quite. In second place, Abhinav Vidyalaya from Pune with 19 points. But with a huge gulf between them and the team at the top, PSVB Nungumbakam from Chennai with 50 points. Now, let's take a look at this curve. I asked Abhinav to get onto that curve on the last round. They didn't. They didn't style with 19 points. Hartley is just hitting a flat line there. But that blue line, it is flying high. And uh, PSVB Nungambakam, you needed that, didn't you? There you are then, into our last round, which is called Fortius, which will determine who will win this final at the ESPN School Quiz 2004. Remember, it's a best of three final, and Fortius will be a determinant. And that means all you three lifelines, it's time for you to head off into our isolation chambers. Which national soccer team is nicknamed the Eagles of Carthage? Answer coming up after the break. Welcome back to the ESPN School Quiz 2004. We are in the national final. This is the second of our best of three. And in a very short while, we'll discover who has won this one. If Abhinav wins it, then that is the end of the ESPN School Quiz 2004. If someone else does, we go into a final playoff. There is that much at stake. Let's play Fortius. Fortius calls for all those characteristics that we expect out of you. Tough, firm. Let's get PSVB Nungambaka and Chennai who are in the lead at this stage. And PSVB might well be smiling because the lead is 31 at this stage. Hi. And you'll expect a five. You, you want a five-pointer. I expected that. Here is your five-pointer. Which former world champion driver was dropped in the 2003 season by the BAR Honda team and replaced by Takuma Sato? Which former world champion driver was dropped in the 2003 season by the BAR Honda team and replaced by Takuma Sato? Lifeline. Okay, let's check with the lifeline. Yes or no? Yeah, I think I know. He thinks he knows. Is that good enough for you to go to him? Okay, I'll go for it. Okay, we'll go to the lifeline. And the answer is... Jack Wilner. It's correct. Jack Wilner is the answer. Looking for those five pointers to make you feel a lot better now. Abhinav Vidyale. Very interested in knowing what your strategy is. You've got a question in hand, but the lead is huge. Ten. You want a ten? Okay. Here is your ten pointer. Cricket. Alan Davidson got eleven wickets in the first tight test. Who got ten in the second tight test? Alan Davidson got 11 wickets in the first tight test. Which bowler got 10 wickets in the second tight test? Let's go to the lifeline. Lifeline says no. I don't. One final time. Alan Davidson got 11 wickets in the first tight test. Which bowler got 10 wickets in the second tight test? Yes, I've been already done. No? No, it's 
No, okay, let's move on then. The answer was Greg Matthews. The answer is Greg Matthews. We've got five in each innings. Greg Matthews, the hazards of 10 pointers. Now, I just wonder if that's going to help Hartley Spoke up a little bit. You might have a bit of a fight for second and third. What's your choice? 10. 10, but you do know that 320s might take you beyond PSVB Nungumbakam. Yeah. You still want a 10. Okay, here's your 10 pointer. In 1996, who became a Wimbledon doubles champion? At the age of 15 years and 282 days. In 1996, who became a Wimbledon doubles champion at 15 years and 282 days? Leighton Hewitt. No, Hartley, it wasn't Leighton Hewitt. You might have had a look at your lifeline. The answer was Martina Hingis. The answer was Martina Hingis. It's not easy in 40s. When you have to recall that answer, it's very rare to have someone that age having such a calm mind. PSVB Nungumbakam Chennai. Now, this makes you even more comfortable if you ever needed to. Five. And you want a five-pointer. Here's your five-pointer. Led by the legendary Giorgio Haji, which team became the first Turkish side to win the UEFA Cup in the year 2000? Led by the legendary Giorgio Haji, which team became the first Turkish side to win the UEFA Cup in 2000? Galatasaray. It's correct. Galatasaray. The look on your face just changed somewhat. I thought you, you thought the question was going to be about Romania. It just changed and then he pulled himself back. Very well done. The answer was Galatasaray. Now, Abhinav Pune. Shall we take a 10 or 20? No. Don't go for the win now. We'll 10 or will we win? 10 yeah, or a course. 20 or a 5? We'll take a 5 now. Okay. You want a 5? And just to remind all of you, should there be a three-way tie in the three-leg national final, we count the number of first places, then the number of second places, and then the overall aggregate. Here is your five-pointer. Which Boston Celtics player won the MVP of the year award three years in a row in the mid-80s? Which Boston Celtics player won the MVP of the year award three years in a row in the mid-80s? Larry Bird. Larry Bird, your life is impressive as well, but he didn't need that. Larry Bird, it was. And there's a fine battle being fought out with second and third. Now, hardly spoken. 20. Up. You want to go straight into the big league with a 20, and they are hot on Abhinav's trail. Here is your 20-pointer. That will take you just one behind Abhinav. Which cricketer? was given the Man of the Match award solely for his fielding in a limited overs international against the West Indies at Mumbai's Brabham Stadium in 1993. Which cricketer was Life given line. the Man of the Match award solely for his fielding in a limited overs international against the West Indies at Mumbai's Brabham Stadium in 1993? No, no. Lifeline, okay, yes or no? Okay, I go for it. Yes. He says he'll go for it. Okay. And the Lifeline says... John T. Rose. It's correct. John T. Rose is what I was looking for. Hartleys have come strolling back into this, certainly in the battle for second and third, which might come in crucial in the final placings. Now, PSBB Nungumbakum Chennai. One final time. Do you want to test yourselves? Do you want to play Last safe? Lifeline. lifeline, what do you think you should do? Take a 10. Uh, yeah, take a 10. Take a 10. Okay, you've got to keep all the criteria in mind. Here, is that a final decision, 10? Yeah, 10. Because you've got to do, you're the man who's got to do the take 10. Okay, here is your 10 pointer. In which specific sport did Germany win its first World Cup by beating Sweden in the final at Los Angeles in October 2003? The Women's Football World Cup. Women's Soccer, they went for it straight away. That was a good answer from PSVB Lungenbach and Chennai. Now, it's almost certain, in fact it is certain that they will back first place in the second leg semi-final. One point the difference between Abhinav and Hartley's. Abhinav have a first place already. A second will be absolutely crucial. Two five. points. Sorry, the difference between the two of you. Five or ten? Five. If you hit a five, the difference is seven. Hartley's will win second place on a ten-pointer. Here is your five. Some tricky, some simple. Here it is. Which national soccer team is nicknamed the Eagles of Carthage? Which national soccer team is nicknamed the Eagles of Carthage? Lifeline. Which national soccer team is nicknamed the Eagles of Carthage? Nigeria. We've got the continent all right. The answer was Tunisia. 
The answer was Tunisia. And what this means is that Hartley's will get a second place with a five here. Five. You want a five-pointer. Listen carefully. Arjo, it's you and me. Which was the first city in the Southern Hemisphere to host the final match of a Cricket World Cup tournament? First. Which was the first city in the Southern Hemisphere to host the final match of a Cricket World Cup? MCG Melbourne. The Melbourne Cricket Ground in Melbourne is the answer I was looking for. And so that 20-pointer coming in very handy for Hartley's Kolkata. It's been quite a national final, very unusual in terms of our points distribution. Let's take a look at the scores. So in a little twist in Porteous, Abhinav Vidyalaya slipped to third place with 19 points. Hartley's High School might just have given themselves a huge favour, moving up to 22 in second place. And winner today, leading from the front, the Padma Sejadri Balbhavan School from Chennai with 70 points. And what a fantastic performance it was. Take a look at this curve, remember? PSBB coming in from a very disappointing third place in the first final and they just led from start to finish. This was Schumacher stuff. Now look at the yellow line. Abhinav Vidyale in very comfortable second place all along. Just pipped at the end by the brown line of Hartley's Kolkata. And what that means is a most fascinating setup for our third final. Let's see what each of the teams has got so far. Abhinav Vidyale, a first place and a third place. Hartley's Kolkata, two second places. PSBB Nungambakam, a third place and a first place. What that means is the team that wins the next and the final national final will be our eventual champions. It's all set up for the last episode of this spectacular ESPN school quiz. But let's call the lifelines in as well. I thought they did an absolutely fantastic job in the second final. And let me offer some solace to Abhinav Pune, the two of you Rohit. You might just have come second, but third means you've got a lot of work to do in the last final. Now, let's move on to Hartley's Kolkata. That second place, I suspect, is going to come in very handy. You've now got to win the final. What it means, though, is that 20-pointer turned out to be the decisive moment in this national final. And that is why, Shorbajit Mitro, you are our hero of the day. Congratulations. You not only win yourself this little trophy, you also win for yourself a hero Razorback cycle. And Vishal Chandrasekhar, you had a fine day as well, didn't you? Very well done. Sri Krishna, you too as well. And now you've completely wiped out the blues. And you've done that, proving the champion side that you really are. So, winners of this second final, the Padna Seshadri Balbhavan from Nungambakam and winners in style. Now, after this nationwide search, it comes down to one contest. The last final at this ESPN school quiz will determine who our national champion is. That's coming up next. Welcome to the ESPN School Quiz 2004. Today is our last national final and we have the boys from PSBB Nungambakkam, Sri Krishna Sriram and Vishal Chandrasekhar. One final time, Abhinav Vidyalaya from Pune, represented by Rohit Bahulekar and Rohit Chandrachu. And finally, Hartley's High School Kolkata, represented by Sarvajit Mitra and Arya Dutta. And your host is Harsha Bhokli. The ESPN School Quiz 2004 has reached a magnificent climax. This is the third of our three-leg final at the national level. We've got three fantastic teams here. Hartley's Kolkata, Abhinav Pune, PSBB Nungambakam, Chennai. One of these teams will go on that roll of honour that includes St. Xavier's from Kolkata, DPS from Faraka and Birla High School from Kolkata the title of national champion of India, the prize of five lakhs of rupees for their school and the honor of visiting a sports event of their choice anywhere in the world. Each of these three is a stone's throw away now. The team that wins today is the national champion. At the end of two legs of this final, this is where it has come. After 61 programs, this is the one that will determine who the national champion is. One final time to all three of you. May the best team win. Let's get into Sitius. OK, 
Hey, we've changed positions, we've done everything. What we don't want to change is your finger on the buzzer as we go into Sitius Set 1. Here is the first of our sportspersons. Yes, on the buzzer, PSBB Nungumbakum. Shane Bond. No, it isn't Shane Bond. Let's go on and complete it. Here we go. Who is this? You can cut the tension with a knife. Alex Stewart. Alex Stewart. Abhinav Pune said Alex Stewart. They got it just ahead of Hartley's Kolkata. Alex Stewart it was. So first five points on the big final on the board. Now, number two. Here we go. Yes, Hartley's. Javed Miyadad. Javed Miyadad. How quick was that? Javed Miyadad. How quick was that? And I wouldn't be surprised if you, if you recognize the ground that you can see through his shades as well. Now, let's go on to number three. One each so far. Who is this? Hartley's. Gordon Greenwich. Correct. Gordon Greenwich it was. So Hartley's picking up five points as well. Now, here is my connection question. Five points if you get it right. No negatives. We've got Alex Stewart, Javed Miyadad, Gordon Greenwich. Which former English cricketer with an Indian connection was the first to score a hundred in his hundredth test match like each of these three? Each of these three scored a hundred in their hundred test. Michael Colin Cowdrey. Michael Colin Cowdrey. The initials were MCC. Well done, Hartley's Kolkata. Colin Cowdrey it was. And Hartley's have come storming into this one. But we have a second set of cities to play out. Who is this? Here we go. Look sharp on your buzzers. Who is this? Nobody opting for it. The answer was the Brazilian forward, Babeto. The answer was the Brazilian forward, Babeto. Okay, here is number two. Who is this? Yes, Roy Mackay. What an answer from Abhinav. That is Roy Mackay, the Dutchman. Roy Mackay, it was absolutely top answer. That's why this quiz is what it is. Now, sharp on your buzzers on this one. Here we go. On your heart. Rivalo. Rivalo. Oh, we could be anywhere. Not in an ESPN school quiz because the answers are deafening. That was Rivaldo. What have we got? Abhinav went for it. Oh, they yeah. went for it right away. Abhinav Pune. This is the way he would normally have gone about it other than for the fact that his fantastic team went for it. So this is what we had in City of Set 2. Bebeto, Roy Mackay and Rivaldo. And the question we had was which Spanish club side have these three footballers represented? Abhinav Pune went straight for it. Deportivo La Coruña, they said. And that was the answer we were looking for. This is a staggering start. Remember, the team that wins today is national champion. Let's see where they stand. PSGB Chennai are in third place at this stage with minus three. Abhinav Vidyale from Pune in second place with 15. But leading the action, Hartley's High School from Kolkata with 20 points. And who knows on the big day? Those five points might just make the difference. Where are we on our, on our chart? Let's take a look. Just starting to move towards Hartley's is the yellow line of Abhinav Vidyale. But they've got runs on the board. Now, PSVB Nungambakam, you need to come back strongly in Altius, which is your favourite round as well. And that is where we are headed. It's our Altius Alpenliebe Lagiroho round that's after the break. Can you identify this footballer? Stay tuned for the answer. Life inspires us to think ahead, which is why our insurance solutions are also one step ahead. Tata AIG Life, a new look at life. Matchup Zone brought to you by Samsung Air Conditioners, breathes fresh air. Welcome back to the ESPN School Quiz 2004 and to the program that will determine who the national champions will be. PSBB and Abhinav have got a first place and a third. Hartley's Kolkata have got two second places and that means whoever wins today will become national champions. And all three have symbolized what this round stands for. 
Lage Raho, this is all tears. Let's go and play it. Ten points for each correct answer. This is where a team could really run away with this quiz. And we're going to start with that outstanding team from PSBB Nungumbakam, Chennai. This is what you have on your grid. Miscellaneous, moments, soccer, tennis, champions and snapshots. Soccer. Yes, each of the three teams wanted soccer. You're having a first go at it. Here's your soccer question. Your soccer question is a video clip. Take a look and identify this soccer player for me. Identify this soccer player for me. Okay, PSVB Nungambakam, Chennai. There's a little bit more of him. If you've seen enough, tell me who is this soccer player. No negatives. Alessandro Nesta. It isn't Alessandro Nesta. Question passes. Hartley's Kolkata. David Ginola. David Not Ginola. David Ginola. Abhinav going for it. Rafael yes. Rafael Marquez. No. We, uh, slightly tough one, given that all of you are so good at EPL. The answer was one of the Man United goalkeepers, Ricardo Lopez. One of the Manchester United goalkeepers, Ricardo Lopez. Now let's go on to Abhinav Pune. You've got five options on your grid and your choice is? Tennis. Okay, we'll give you tennis. Abhinav, on your video screens again, identify this duo. Identify this duo. I need both names to get it right. And obviously, there must be a very good duo for us to ask you who they are. I need you to identify this duo for me. Abhinav Pune. John, John Newcomb, Newcomb and Tony, Tony Roach. Roach. Good answer. John Newcomb and Tony Roach was the answer. The Australian duo that won Wimbledon together five times. John Newcomb and Tony Roach. The best traditions of Australian doubles players. You are in the lead, but Hartley's, you have a question in hand. And you've got five options on the screen now. Etc. appears Thank as you. well.